What's up? It's your boy, Bulldog Speed. I forgot to put the big cruise back on. Alrighty, there we go. There's the big cruise. Ward Burton qualified second. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna talk normal now. Um, Benson fifth. Jesus. Had Lesky got ninth? What the fuck? What the fuck? I'm going to be cussing a lot. I don't know why. This is my home race on the schedule, technically. Uh, I'm not Martin Truex Jr. I do not have three home tracks. I have New Hampshire. And that's the closest one. And I guess you could say Watkins Glen and Dover. They're the three closest tracks to me. Um... Sure, I'll have three home tracks like Truex, Dover, New Hampshire, Watkins Glen, but we're going to get this shit on the road. We're going to try not to die. The 75 lap race, it was clear as shit, all practice, and it decided to be cloudy on race day. I do not know what is going to happen. I was fine when it was clear out. Now the tires are gonna be 30 degrees colder. I do not know what to expect here. I've lengthened fourth gear one click, so hopefully that helps. I lengthened third gear two to compensate. We're gonna have to pit one time. And I'm hoping, uh, excuse me, that there are no accidents. So second, third, fourth, second, back. Okay, so pace speed here is 45, 50 miles an hour, 50 miles an hour. Coming to the green, buddy, coming to the green. All right, so let's see if we can win another race. We want Chicago Land. Uh, here goes nothing. Racing line off. In front of Jimmy right way. Holy fuck! I pulled away. Looks like the fourth gear change was the right call. Jack Sprague has issues. Oh man, I'm sliding. I already have a two and a half second lead. I don't even know how. I just bolted. So, yeah, cold tires are not helping me right now. I smell skunk. Skunk outside or some shit. Must be a skunk out there. My window's open, so lo and behold. But Jesus, we are gone already. And I wasn't that much faster. Oh, okay, never mind. 3.599. Um, my top speed in practice at clear nine, clear 80 was 153. Now I'm hitting 156. And you can slam the brakes on this setup. I had to change the steering ratio because 30 to 1 just felt atrocious. So I lowered the tape. 55 tape seems to be fine for this race, especially since we are just gone. So Chicagoland was interesting, you know, the AI ended up trying to pit twice. But we lapped everybody, and then the people we lapped that hadn't pit yet decided, hey, we could make it on gas now. We got this one ex this one less lap because uh, Rogers lapped us. And uh, that's what happened. Yeah, I'm murdering my right front right now. I'm not good with not turning on a flat track. Yeah, I am going to up you all the way to 35. I'm not too worried about sacrificing grip, so you know what? Where did the smoke come from? Okay, someone skidded down 
the whole front straightaway. I don't know who it was. Oh no, 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 no. I guess it was Ken Schrader. I almost just died. Yeah, my tires are so hot. I'm sure I'm just driving it way too hard, but like... Let's see if I can just like, yeah, I'm kind of just half throttling it off the corner here. Just kind of ease it down. So the Bumblebee trailer dropped a few days ago and I am psyched! Like that looks so good, yo. It appears, I think it's pretty sure it's set in the 1970s based on the model of the, or how the Volkswagen Beetle looks. Cause I remember when I got the original Transformers movie, the first one they made back in 07. They gave you a comic with it had like a little prequel thing with Decepticons and in the Quatar in uh, and all that and uh, chill there was a thing about Bumblebee flying out of a graveyard or whatever but like that that was different you know how everything changed in uh, Bumblebee and uh, last night was showcased that he fought in World War Two against the Nazis Um, anyways, the movie the movie itself looks really good. I don't know if it's supposed to be a new, separate storyline. I'm, I'm presuming they are building off their current storyline. But Bumblebee is a Volkswagen Beetle. I have not bothered to look up the cast. I know I saw a jet transformer, which I believe to be a Decepticon. And I'm, I'm surprised. I didn't realize that John Cena was actually going to be, from what it looks like, an antagonist. It appears he's like some kind of like military armsman. And it would be cool to find out like, hey, if that's a, a Sector 7 agent, like the younger version of a Sector 7 agent, that would be pretty cool too. Because if John Cena is supposed to be playing the younger role of a character we already know of, I don't think it would be Simmons because it just doesn't look right. Simmons has his hair. It was it that guy with the mustache? That would make sense. But I don't know what their, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just predicting stuff. So Schrader, anyway, back to the race. Schrader got spun at the back of the pack, I guess. My tires are still pretty damn hot, even though I'm taking it easy. Um, let's see, we've gone, what, 11 laps, and we're at 31 projected. Let's see how much of the corner I can clutch through. Honestly, just bored at this point. I'm just gonna clutch. This is one of the best tracks to just clutch through like the whole corner at. That was scary. Too much throttle off the corner. I hit the brake kind of late. Damn it, that's the wall, and I got damage. anymore. So Harvick second, Kerbush third, Martin Benson, Ward Burton. That is first six. Craven's in 
top 10. Oh, Jeff Green's in the top 10 again, looking for another top 10. I know, remember he got six last week. He's still looking for that first top five. I do not know how strategy will work here. But I don't know that. Oh, Joe Nemechek's on pit road. Did Jack Sprague ever take the green flag? No, he didn't. So Sprague had an issue and he never took the green flag. I don't even think he's getting points for this race. So that's gonna suck for the zero car. But Nemechek is a lap down now, I've lapped him. Kinda look on the bottom of the grid. Wow, Jeff, Jeff Gordon's doing terrible. Holy crap, he's 36th. I did not even notice that. Gordon is doing atrocious. And this is, here's the thing with the way NR works. There's a consistency rating. And if a driver has one bad race, his consistency starts to falter. So Gordon was being very consistent all season. And now he got destroyed at Daytona. He finished 22nd or 25th at Chicagoland. And now he's doing terrible here. He's 35th. Is he being passed or passing Biffle? I think he was passing Biffle. Waiting for the ticket to update. Nemechek is still three down. Okay, so he passed Biffle. gonna go here and showcase that because Gordon's in 35th place right now which is really cool to see because we're we moved up to eighth in points and this just goes to show you like how quickly and easily you can gain a ton of points on the old system is if that one guy who's just so far ahead in the point standing starts having a bad races you capitalize on him you keep being consistent somebody else has a bad race or two, you gain on them. I mean, we're back up to eighth in points. I mean, Daytona was awful, but Gordon was wrecked out of that race and he was so far ahead that, I mean, it didn't really affect me and the points. And oh, there's a fucking yellow flag. What the F happened? So this is gonna screw shit up. Who was in the wreck? Someone's smoking. Looks like Jerry Nadu. Alright, well, we cannot make it from here. So that sucks. Was Gordon involved too? Oh man, if Gordon was involved, that is going to shake up a lot of stuff. So I have to pit. We're not going to be good on gas. So. Pit road will be open this time. What the hell is a pit road speed? Pit road speed is 45. 4,000 seconds. The pace car is on the front stretch. Gordon's already down pit road. He's going to get lapped by me here hate that glitch where they just go down pit road. Unless he's got damage, then I understand. Let's see if we can get out of pit road here first. Like I said, we're not going to make it on gas. Ten laps short. Try and save some gas here. I 
All right, so now that we're under the caution, let's take a look and see what happens. So I think this was around where Newman was. Oh, it was a lot earlier than that. Oh, was it? It was the freaking 25. The 25 was back out on track, and he's going to get dumped by Ricky Rudd? Oh, what the heck was he doing? <laughs> Ricky Rudd just dumps him. Ricky can go around. Oh, and Rusty Wallace with nowhere to go. Oh, man. Nadu with nowhere to go. There's Newman. Did Robbie Gordon get a piece? No, but Hermie Sadler got drilled and... Oh, there's Gordon making contact. Blaney into it. Elliot Sadler, Boris said. Oh, Gordon's blew up. Gordon blew up from that. Oh, he's done. He's going to get 41st. Oh, man. That's awesome. That's going to help us in the points big time. Well, I'm going to take a quick break. Well, I won't be taking a break. I'll be here pacing, but I'm going to cut away. Uh, excuse me. We'll be back for that restart. All right, guys. We're already back. So let's just take a quick look. So let's see the top ten real quick. Harvick, Bush, Martin, Craven, Burton, Green, Burton, Johnson, Benson. What a top ten. Out of the race, Rusty Walls, Nadu, Sadler. Gordon Nemechek and Sprague, who never took the green. Newman is a lap down. I don't recall if he's on pit road. So Blaney, Sadler, kept going. Looks like that's it for the, the cars with damage. Here's Newman. Here he comes. Now, as I stated, we're not making this on grass. I'm going to stay out as long as possible until they all pit because I'm not waiting for another dumb caution to happen where I get trapped a lap down. That gives me a second and a half. I just launch. Like, I just launch so good. Newman has damage, so he's probably going to be in the way. Already a four second lead. I'm just gone. Well, tire temperature still ain't great, but left sides are a lot, a lot better. Fixing the goddamn damage, bruh. Oh no, 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 no. That was bad. Oh, fuck! Well, I'm taking four tires now. I can't go anywhere. I fucking fucked that up.
got no grip now. And New Hampshire is one of those tracks where when you're in the wake of someone's car, you can't turn for shit. So now I'm fucking stuck here. God fucking damn it. Yeah, I can't go anywhere. No, I'm not fixing my fucking damage. I'm just gonna have to die bomb Jimmy. Like you literally, like look, this is impossible. I know I wore my tires, but like god damn, they were not, they're not that worn. Like if I get in front of these guys, I should just pull. But right now all I'm doing is pushing because it's impossible. New Hampshire is just one of those tracks where if you're not in the lead, you're fucked. Move, Ricky Craven. Look, I can't even go anywhere. Jeff fucking Burton! Fuck! Another race. Another race where we're doing good. And I am fucked. Absolutely fucked. Like I said, the draft here sucks dick. It's impossible with the fucking draft. Now I'm fucked. God damn it. So one small mistake and then just no room and I tried to go when I shouldn't have god damn it, damn it. fuck I've never been so mad at this whole season might as well fucking yeah might as well fix the fucking damage that there fucking isn't any of don't have any fucking damage. All I did was self spin again. If the caution didn't come out, I would have been pissed. Well, at least there's some morons who aren't pitting. A lot of these guys are just taking gas. Fuck me though. Fuck me. Thoroughly. Who stayed out? A lot of people stayed out. Okay. How is the pace car in turn four already? The pace car is on the front stretch. If you're not banging on anything, go, go, go. Take, take, take. Jesus. Oh, we're good on gas. We're good on gas, that's what matters. The rest of this race is going to be a pain in the ass. Some more people pit. Newman. Well, that was just Newman because he's a lap down. Tell you, it's all me. Oh my god, don't slam the brakes on me, bro. That's all my fault. It'll be one to go this time, but okay, here's how your lap cars inside. It's gonna be a lot of chaos. Ah, man. Here, so just be ready. All right, buddy, get your seatbelt and tuck for me, all right? I should have pissed.
very good. I'm not sure if it's top at all. Um, the sucky thing is, is I can't get my great one and a half second start because I can't pass to the inside. Can't pass to the inside. It's just awful. It's awful. It sucks. I'll tell you what, these base laps are pretty fast. I think 50 miles an hour around a one mile oval like this would be so fast. Alright, well, we can't go anywhere in first gear, so I'm just gonna start in third or something, I think, yeah. Just gonna start in third. I'm gonna have to be so patient. Actually, screw a second. Said you suck. Sucks. We were going to gain a ton of ground on Jeff Gordon, man, but it just it can't it can't happen. I hope these AI are all short on gas because I don't want to wreck them. I don't want to wreck either. Oh my God, man! No. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. <sighs> I hate, I hate cloudy races. I hate cloudy races. Every time we come to a cloudy race, I suck. You can't go anywhere on fucking New Hampshire. I'm done. You know what? I'm done with this race. Absolutely done. Fuck that shit. We can fall in the fucking points, because that was fucking cloudy races. Fucking cloudy races, man. Shut the fuck up, crew chief. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck cloudy races. Tony Stewart's gonna win. What the fuck? Ken Schrader? Oh, Dale Jarrett won. Okay, so no one could make it on gas. Some of them couldn't make it on gas. I don't know, guys. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. Back down the tent. No, 332 back. I could have been two something back. And I threw it all away. So, whatever. Another DNF. I don't even care anymore. I don't even want to do the rest of the season. I don't even want to do the rest of the season, I'll tell you what.
God damn it.